Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Origami King. I'm currently doing some cleanup work, getting the hidden blocks and treasures and the like. And now we're clearing out the Earth Valley Mental Temple. Let's just make absolutely sure I have the correct accessory for that. I do not. There we go. So, we only need question mark blocks. And it says I have a little bit more than half of them. It also says there's one pretty close by. Hmm. Up here, perhaps? Nope. Let's see. Is there anything conspicuous on the ground that might be it? far enough away and then see where the bell rings. So here perhaps. Okay. Didn't want to talk to her, but I guess it's nice to hear. Alright, so hidden block unhider. get out of the way. It's right around here somewhere. The unhider thing is going nuts. Ah, darn it, where is it? here. There we go. Ugh. That was ridiculous. I'm running low on battery. I might need to charge it up. Well, I have the money for that, if necessary. What's the percentage now? 67. So from 58 up to 67, huh? Seems like that's... Uh... Okay, there's another one around here. So I'm at two-thirds. So good. Now then. So now we're at three quarters. Sounds like there's 12 blocks total, and I have nine of them. Here? Nope. 
Not anymore, at least. Yeah, I remember this now. That was uh, also at the entrance to the uh, Great Sea Tower. He turtle heads that extended and retracted. here somewhere. Let's see, any particular place? Nothing really stands out as conspicuous. Okay. So, this is the outer limit for the left. This is the outer limit for the right. So it ought to be somewhere like here. Haha! <laughs> okay. Now we're at 83%. So yeah, there should be two more blocks here in the temple somewhere. Fortunately, the Earth Valley Mental Temple is not all of that long an area. Here! Aha! Sneaky! Ninety-two percent. Yep. Uh. My big fat thumbs just keep missing the buttons. Should be one more block somewhere. Already 
beaten this challenge. And here's that big turtle shell that chased me down here before. Hmm. No hidden block in the entire area back there. There's still one more somewhere. down here who knows nope it's not down here uh, okay there's something else over here be about halfway. Like right here, maybe? Aha! There we go. Got it. everything. shadow looks like it just a piece of the background basically you step on our god you get a divine punishment hey I'm worshiping here hey didn't anyone ever teach you not to step on the gods well, no, can't say anyone ever specifically taught me that. What does the dry bones say? Rattle, rattle, rattle. I keep knocking on the rock for good luck, but my luck's still on the rocks. Hmm. Well, try something other than rocks then. Didn't take too terribly long. Now let me think. What's the best way to get up to Full Moon Island in the Great Sea? Probably just go back to the dock and take the boat out from there. Yeah, I can't think of any warp pipes that would take me closer. I suppose I could try the warp pipe to the Great Tower. But I don't think that would really be much closer. Oh. However. First, there is this guy to talk to. Ready. Are you ready? I got collectible treasures. Keep it a secret, eh? Tape. 1280 G. You want the tape? That's 1,280 coins. We got a deal? Sure. Thanks, pal. While I'm shopping, I wonder if the accessory shop has the rest of the uh, gold protective items. The number of hearts that elude me is one. Really? I could get a max HP up, huh? From 
Fallen icy spires you leap. The heart you find is one to keep. Hmm. That means either the uh, Ice Valley Mental Temple or the ice section of the Great Tower. Well, I can worry about that later. For now, I want to fish up Monster. After checking the accessory shop. No, oh, he only has the one still. Well, never mind. I'll just get them all at once. It'll be like 30,000 G, but hey, I'm a collector. What can I say? Life is great when you're not worried about being crumpled by terrifying monsters. Yeah, not having to worry about monsters in general. Life is really great then. Alright then. On to Full Moon Island. Does Captain T.O. would have to say anything? A voyage of a thousand fathoms begins with the flooding of a single ballast tank. So, in other words, no. He doesn't really have anything to say. Set motor? Yes, please. Huh. Maybe the tower would have been closer, because Full Moon Island is further north than I remembered. Oh well. At this point, it probably would be faster just to get going, rather than go back into town, take the warp pipe up to the tower, and blah blah blah. There's Bonehead Island. I'm going a bit too far east. Alright, let's check the map. Right, I'm almost right on target. Due north ought to do it. Here we go. Monster, your fishy little fins will be mine soon enough. Okay, nothing in those coconuts up there. Nothing in these barrels here, okay. Quite monster sized. I fished up bigger ones. Okay, little fish get out of the way. Perfect.
Okay, that's a that's my new record. 228. Still not monster sized. Okay, those silhouettes are not big enough. And also most of them are bloopers. Give me something bigger. Uh, nothing but small fry. Aha, that's promising. Very promising. Whoa. You caught a cheap cheap. It's huge. It's the ruler of the great sea. 400 centimeters. I believe that's the one. I think that's the one. Now I have to oh, do da dee da. You've earned the fish finder trophy. Visit the Musee Champignon to check it out. Okay, let's do that. It's all clogged up right now. All right, southwest. There's Mushroom Island. Oh, and this little archipelago got in my way. There's Heart Island. Seeding off into the distance. I just realized I could have hit B to just, just get straight back to town. Oh well. Honestly, this is more fun. Just zooming across the waves like this. Wow, I made it almost directly to the goal. Okay, so now it's up to Overlook Mountain. And there's a warp pipe there in the museum, so let's view the print and the new trophy while we're there. Monster, fish of the great sea. Yep, that confirms it. We got what we need. Oh, right. I need to talk to this guy to get the trophy. Great news, Mario. I received one or more of your trophies. Fish finder. If my curator calculations are correct, the number of trophies you have yet to earn is 11. Okay. Tape. Captain of the Legion of Stationary Shock Troops, proud of its purple dispenser. Watch out, it fights dirty. Still, still looking a tad empty down here. But then there are a lot of collectibles in Toad Town that I haven't found yet. This page is looking complete. Oh wait, no it's not. There's still the top right corner there. 
Chef's Truly Wild Special, a replica of the Overlook Tower Chef's Special Eggs. Tastes the same fresh, frozen, room temp, and reheated. That actually sounds disturbing. Overlook Tower. A tall tower on the top of Overlook Mountain, famous for its gift shoppy and million coin nighttime view. First I've heard of the nighttime view. Too bad it's never night in this world, I can't see it. And this is the one I need to get on Overlook Mountain. Ah, Toad Tram. This intimate conveyance practically forces you to talk to and forge lifelong friendships with other passengers. Well, I guess on our first trip through it, we did forge a lifelong friendship. Rest in peace, Bobby. You did good. And this page is complete. And this page is complete. All right. So let's check out the trophy. Okay. Win 200 about I'm still kind of surprised I haven't fought that often. But okay. There's more fighting to go. Fish finder. No need to tell fish stories when you got this trophy to back up your skills. Hit every question mark block, collect 300,000 coins, win 200 battles, clear every level of the ringer, clear 16 levels in speed rings of the battle lab, collect 100 points in expert mode at the shuriken dojo, question mark, question mark, question mark, complete the sound gallery collection, complete the origami character gallery, get every collectible treasure, and complete the art gallery collection. about some of those later. For now, let's get back to Overlook Mountain and talk to Fish... Fish Man. Fish Koopa? Fish Turtle? At any rate, let's go talk to him. Down here, that's right. Okay, I fished up monster, what have you got for me? Okay, you've already said that. There's this one fish in particular that's been getting my goat for years. It goes by monster. Yeah, most fish don't got names, so this one does. Probably got a whole house built out of broken poles and dreams down there. You catch that one, you come on back and give me a lesson, huh? Oh, come on, man. Uh. Well, that's annoying. Maybe I have to fish up the treasure after all? Because the treasure bell definitely rang when I came down here. didn't work the way I expected it to. Huh. Maybe I do have to fish it up after all. You know what? Let's see what he has to say about fishing lessons. Use the ZLZR. 
Left stick to aim for the fishies. Flick the controller to cast when ready. The harder you flick, the further it goes. When fish starts getting interested, it'll get to nibbling. That's when you gotta be patient. When fishies like to tease a little bit, wait until you got them good and hooked to yank back on the controls. Treasure. Maybe I have to catch the smaller cheap cheeps. Small, yeah. Kept going for the bigger ones last time. Maybe if I go for the smaller ones, one of them will be the treasure. Or it will cause the treasure to spawn. Kind of grasping at straws here. Well, there's a really big one. Ah, come on. Let's see if the really big one gives me something. Okay, huh. Maybe that was it? No, oh, that wasn't it either. Ah. Okay, I'm not beating my head against this wall. Let's just get going. I'll come back and take care of this later. There is something I want to check while I'm here though. Okay, so, got everything in the Red Streamer area, but I haven't been paying attention to the other areas at all. In fact, I've been neglecting this room in general. So there's four pages. The dry lake bed at uh, Autumn Mountain, okay. And that's Chestnut Valley. A sort of pulled back view. Yeah, okay. Autumn Mountain and Chestnut Valley concept art. Autumn Mountain concept art. And the Eddy River Rapids. The whirlpools and what the water looks like and stuff like that. The Water Valley Mental Shrine exterior. 
Pretty neat look. Let's take a closer look at this one. So yeah, a pulled back view with Mario on the bridge. Some Goombas on the other side, glaring at us. And then just concept art of how the walls and bits fit together. The Water Valley Mental Statue, that big dragon head on the... just inside the front door. Oops. Didn't want to do that. And the interior. Various hallways and platforms and also the final room where we met the Water Valley Mental itself. Water ideas. <laughs> Water spouting from dragon heads and flowing into uh, containers or little channels and the like. Oh wow, lots of them on this page. Shogun Studios, eh? Yeah. Looks like when we first arrived it was still pretty deserted. And the staff room. Okay. The dress up photo studio. Ninja attraction exterior. And also a little bit of the interior. And more of the interior. And the maintenance room where we found Luigi caught in the gears. And the big show theater. With how all of the various pieces fit together. And also Mario standing next to it up there as I suppose a comparison of scale. The Kabuki Thwomp. <laughs> yeah, I remember that guy. He was inside the ninja attraction at the end of it. The ballet performance stage. Where we got a interesting rendition of Swan Lake. The grand finale stage, where we faced off against rubber bands. Big show theater sketch. Okay, sketch is in the concept art of what it looked like. Big show theater interior. Boy, they're lavishing a lot of attention on Shogun Studios and Big Show Theater in particular. Oh, and there's a view of Bobby. It's been a while. Yeah, he did go into the theater with us. Hmm. Kind of bittersweet. Prairie Town stage. Where we had the pop gun battle. And the back alley stage where we did West Side Story. Alright, that's the blue streamer area. Yeah, 
Yeah, there was a bit of the Autumn Mountain Water Valley Mental Water Valley Mental Shrine. But only nine pictures total. And then everything else was Shogun Studios. There's seven pictures alone on this page. And six more here. I guess Shogun Studios was a pretty big part of the game. There was a lot to do there. Alright. I'm really annoyed that I wasn't able to get that uh, fishing trophy. Or whatever it is. Some kind of collectible treasure. But, eh, I'm not going to stress over it. Let's go back to the bell alert. The block alert, rather. The block bell. And then back to Shangri Spa. I'm almost out of time for this episode. But we can go a little bit further. Interesting how their wings seem to be strapped on. Can I turn them around? No, I can't turn them around. I already heard the history, thank you. Alright, so moving on a bit further. Spring of Purification, effective against rips and tears. This is a stamp booth for our successive soaker campaign. Collect one from each of our hot springs and you'll get a prize. It sure looks hot. Do you think this is one of the hot springs? It doesn't look very springy. What does the Koopa have to say? How's the temp? I don't want to cook in my own shell. Why, you're one of Bowser's minions, aren't you? It's awfully nice of him to let you take a spa vacation like this. You're so brave, Mario! You just jumped right in with no regard for your own crispness! And it seems like you're fine. Maybe even better than fine. But what will happen to me? Will I get soggy? My heart's pounding, but I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh. Yeah, I get it now. Just gonna bliss out for a while, don't mind me. It feels so good. So this is what they meant by refreshing and renewing your mind and body. Bad news, Mario. I only care about hot springs now. Ah. Temperature is apparently fine. Sorry, you can't double stamp. You've already got this one. A legendary hammer! Okay. Didn't I already have one of those? Or was that legendary boots I had? No, oh, I did indeed have a legendary hammer. view is incredible. We're actually floating in the clouds, Mario. It's so nice I could almost forget about the green streamer. Oh darn, I just remembered it. And now it's... hmm? What is that horrible scary face doing there? Do you think it's part of the spa? 
It's not renewing my mind or body. Maybe we should ask someone, like this groundskeeper. Excuse us, groundskeeper, can you help us? Mario, what are you doing here? Sometimes I forget you're a celebrity. Or do you actually know this groundskeeper? Groundskeeper, I'll have you know... Ah, it's not important. As Lord Bowser's number one, I have faced off against this meddling mustachioed marauder more times than I can count. You may have heard of me. I am known as Kamek. Oh, pleased to meet you. My name is Olivia, and Mario and I are both traveling around a bit and trying to stop my brother's evil plan. I'm sorry that I haven't heard of you, Mr. Kamek, but it's very impressive that you're Bowser's number one groundskeeper. No, that's not... I'm not... Look, the work I do for Bowser... Uh, thank you. As Lord Bowser's number one groundskeeper, I have some important information for you. After escaping in the clown car, Lord Bowser returned to his castle where I awaited his command. But as he arrived, we were overwhelmed by Folder soldiers. Bowser was captured. Again. Having heroically secreted myself during the attack, I was ready to engage our emergency protocol. But the button I pressed shut off the airship engines instead. It wasn't my fault. With the engines off, Bowser's castle plunged straight into the Shangri Spa campus. Yeah, right into our banquet hall! One must make a reservation to drop a castle in our banquet hall. Do you have any idea how far out we're burked? I have no choice but to charge a late fee, an early fee, an on-time fee, a cancellation fee, and an appearance fee. How will you be paying today, Blue Rogue Wizard? Coins, credit, or the blood, sweat, and tears of Bowser's many minions? Excuse me, Rogue Wizard. Hey, I know you can hear me over there. Ugh, never mind. Your fellow minions are already hard at work, so I'll just tack on an additional silence fee and leave you to it. Good luck. Well, you heard the toad. This is the state of Lord Bowser's minions, castle, and life. Ah, so that scary-looking face is just part of Bowser's castle. And we need to go inside the face to reach the green streamer. You intend to enter Bowser's castle? Very well, perhaps I can be of some assistance. Follow me, quickly now. Alright. So, Shangri Spa. Entrance, way down there. Front desk and spring of purification. Inside the uh, first building. Spring of Bliss on that little island on the right. Banquet Hall, where Bowser's castle crashed. Spring of Sanctuary, pretty much right next to us, but we have to go around to get to it. Spring of Jungle Mist, at the top left. And something hidden behind a cloud right there. Okay, before we follow him... We'll there is two time for side quests. There's always time for side quests. Ah. We've got to sweep in the grass. Not even Bowser makes us do that. What's that in there? Thanks for helping me with that. Been trying to trim those leaves from the inside for hours. Ah. You're welcome. One day you're leading an elite division of Shy Guys, the next you're scrubbing the floor. Ugh. Here we are. Go right in, Mario. Ee hee hee. Okay, this was easy. Well, that confirms it. There really is a lightning beast guarding the front door. I'm relieved it wasn't just my imagination. I suppose we don't have much chance against it from down here. 
And those fault of soldiers confiscated my flying broomstick. How will we get up there? Think, Kamek. Dad! Oh, it's the young master, Bowser Jr. I've never been so happy to see Lord Bowser's devilish spawn come flying recklessly out of nowhere in his clown car. Because we might be able to use that very clown car to reach the cloud, you see. Or not. No! Young Master, your body, your clone car! Oh, I can't understand what he's trying to say. Young Master, if it's about your current state, I assure you that we are aware of it. Unfortunately, neither he nor his clone car are in a condition to help us anymore. Excuse me, Kamek, I know it seems off topic, but have you been into any of the hot springs yet? They're pretty rejuvenating. Maybe a soak would even help the young master here. By Jove, you're right. Those obsequious toads in the lobby handed me a pamphlet about the restorative powers of the spring of purification. It's near the entrance. Quickly, let's get young master's shredded body into the spring of purification before the damage is irreversible. If my calculations are correct, he'll be flying and wreaking havoc again in no time. Hurry to the spring of purification. Let's read the sign first. It's just Bowser Jr. He can wait. Foot Spa Fountain, a free amenity for paying guests. So it's not free then, is it? You can stop saying hurry to the spring of purification now. We're there. Looks like it's in use, unfortunately. Well... I don't have time for that fight, unfortunately. Ugh. Okay, I guess I have to make time for it. No, don't tell me someone else has reserved the spring! Excuse me, would you mind terribly if we hopped in with our shredded friend here? Or are you guys also shredded and trying to heal? We're shredded, all right! Oh, ripped and shredded and so very angry! on the shell it would hit all the enemies behind it yes question is how to make a line Okay, I can see... I'm pretty sure I can see how to make the uh, three hammer groups that it's telling me I'm supposed to make. But can I possibly make a line so that I can use the turtle shell? sure this is what I'm supposed to do. I mean, there we go. Ah, not really much choice. Uh, 
Okay. Will the flashy hammer be strong enough to take out the charging shocks? I guess we're about to find out. No, it is not. Oh dear. Hmm. Well then. I do have a couple of stronger ones. See if this does the trick. Oh yeah. Cub Blam. Oh hey, Kamek. Thank you. Get the coins. All right. Now, now, young master, be sure to soak your entire body. Well, is it working? Ah, he's whole again. Perhaps I should rescind my one-star online review of Shangri Spa. It wasn't me. I didn't crash the castle this time. I just came here to help Dad, but the next thing I knew, I was all cut up into pieces. And what's he doing here? Are we about to fight? Because I'm always ready. Let's go! Her name was Olivia. She lived in Shangri Spa. Just an origami girl with an origami heart. Soaking and dreaming of the streamers keeping us apart. Wait, young master, we have more important things to do than battle Mario for the millionth time. If you want to help your dad, you could help us enter his castle. We require the use of your clown car. Do we get to fight someone? I haven't fought anyone in over an hour. Let's hurry up and do this. Oh man, this dumb thing's busted. Hmm. So even though you're back in one piece, you're still too creased to fly. You're also wrinkled and filthy. I hate to think what Lord Bowser would say if he saw you in such a state. Indeed, it seems flying is still out of the question. Blast! Guys, the wrinkles and the dirt and the creases... Just soak it all away in the hot springs, okay? Then we can get all the stamps and the free prize. Hmm, that gives me an idea. There are more of these springs around Shangri Spa, right? And each has unique rejuvenative properties. The answer is clear. We must visit them all. Young Master, roll yourself and get on my back. Come, you two. We must find hot springs to address ma Young Master's wrinkles, creases, and filth. There will be more soaking, I promise. Alright. Hey, we soaked again. Can't double stamp. Blah. What about Kamek? Has he gotten his stamp? Or is it she? I keep seeing conflicting information about that. This is embarrassing. Oh, please. I carried you like this as a baby. Alright, I am really out of time. This actually went longer than I had. So, viewers, thank you very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Paper Mario the Origami King. In the next episode, we'll see about fixing up Bowser Jr. here. And that's probably going to take quite a while. So, probably we won't get it all the way done in the next episode, but we'll certainly get a good start on it. And we have lots of area to explore, too. Shangri Spa is a deceptively large place. And we'll get started on that in the next episode. See you then.